evening all remarks here back in another video back again with another update on VR experience now you guys may know if you watched some of my previous videos that I've been a little bit busy doing something else so there's not been as many videos on the channel the last few weeks but this behind me is what will become my VR arcade and we're currently kind of fitting it out at the moment it's a bit of a shell and we're going to kind of show you around so just have kind of a little look around the, the street there you can kind of see where one kind of a busy kind of road in Gloucester so when it opens I hope to see all you guys here but let's kind of jump in uh, I'll switch the camera around we'll sort of show you around so I'm trying not to bump into people as I walk backwards we'll walk into the shade so you can probably see me a little bit better so it's got a nice bit of frontage going on there so there's some work going on in the street across the road so we're going to come inside have a little look around but this is the empty shell so a guy's in here at the moment studying some up some walls kind of separating it a little bit how we want it uh, the good thing is the guy who owns this he's coming on board with the project he's going to be a partner in it as well so it helps a little bit with the cost we get this up place exactly how we want and we should hopefully have a little bit of fun uh, getting it all sorted so let's kind of flip this camera around and i'll kind of talk you through what i plan to do with this space what we intend to have here um and all that good stuff all right so there's the front door there nice big double door we've got a few windows that run around the front there so it's a nice kind of area where we get a lot of people walking by so a lot of students there's literally a student place with 300 students in the street over from this one so that would be good and that's kind of obviously kind of a bit of a market for what we've got going on here uh, and if we kind of pan around slowly we've got a few things that have been going on but I'll kind of explain what we're going to do with this space. It's about 1,400 square foot. So it would be nice if it was a little bit bigger, but we're going to be creative with the space. And given where we are in this location, it kind of speaks for itself. It's going to advertise itself. Well, hopefully. So this corner here, as you walk in, there's going to be a display in the window, like a TV type display. It's going to have some stuff on it that goes out to the outside world with the you know, people in VR and all the different things we're doing in the special offers and that sort of thing. Inside, you're there have the same on that same window uh, that TV is like double-sided I'll have the same sort of video going here would be like a counter but it'll be kind of built up here because behind there would be like a little bit of an office type thing and then the counter itself will come out in this space here to about here maybe so counter there terminals there for sort of checking people in get them sign their waiver uh, some space to kind of hang some headsets and maybe some other stuff we'll sell this corner here just uh, still at the front sort of area we'll have kind of snacks we'll have drinks and we'll have some lockers for people to lock their stuff in which i think is important if you're coming to do vr you got a headset on you put your bag down you kind of want to make sure that it's nice and safe so that's what's going to happen there this little sort of cubby hole area it's like a bit that kind of juts into the side of the area here uh, it's going to have a toilet so we're going to have a disabled toilet so that space there is going to be set out as a disabled toilet so we want to kind of make this as inclusive as possible you know we want people of all abilities ages one over to come and experience vr and build a bit of a community around it. and i think open up to as many people as we possibly can is the key so you'd come in here this is kind of just to be the floor. You'd walk in, well, you'd, you'd go in there. This would be the bathroom. There'd be a loo, a hand basin, a hand dryer, um, whatever else, and you come back out again. Uh, straight in front of you here, so when we're at the front here, we're going to put ourselves a classic retro arcade machine. So we're going to have kind of, you know, retro Pac-Man and whatever built into an arcade machine there. A couple of little stalls next to it so kids can play, and kind of distract kids while they're kind of waiting for their booze or whatever to be ready. And then this will be like the office sort of storeroom here. So there's another door, brings you in here, probably another little sink just to get some water for a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and then some shelving and stuff like that for us to kind of hide in and, and whatever else we need to do um, in the day sort of thing and hide it all out there sort of thing. So that'd be quite good. Put the CCTV and the safe in there as well. Uh, then as we come out to, to the right here, this is going to be the racing area. So where this wall is here, it's going to come right out to probably about here. And in this space here, you're going to have six racing cockpits. So I've already kind of sourced some cool cockpits. Uh, they're going to have Thrustmaster wheels on them, pedal sets, the sort of hardcore sort of force feedback type things. They're probably going to run Oculus Rift S headsets. 
uh, because the game is sat down they're not going to be sweating too much so uh, hopefully VR cover will come out with some nice kind of replaceable stuff soon but for now it should be okay uh, we're going to put some six 50 inch TVs hopefully <laughs> they'll fit on that wall there with what's going on because obviously when they're in VR you don't need a TV screen right in front of you we might as well have a pretty cool VR screen so six TVs all lined up nicely together and then like a barrier system that just goes kind of here and with some stools some swivel stools behind it a so people can watch and b so if people wanted an oculus go for example to look at some videos or whatever they could just sit on those swivel stools and swivel around watching some content if we've got room as well we'll stick some sort of sofa bench type things in there as well and then in this area here this is where our booths are going to be so from that front window that front window there is going to be covered in vinyl so completely vinyled out with some graphics on the outside that kind of advertise vr and the stuff that we do here and then on the inside it'll be probably just be black um matte black uh, so it doesn't do any reflections and then we'll split these kind of into four different booths let me move back a little bit so you can kind of see that we'll go vr booth line vr booth and the same there so two uh they won't be kind of hard sort of cut off because what i want to do is keep this space as flexible as possible so if we do some sort of arena scale stuff we've got all of this space here to be running up and down in with vr headsets so if something comes to the Oculus Quest or something like that 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 works on, we'll do that. But we'll have, for, as default, is up the top, we'll have a PC with a HTC Vive Pro. Uh, the wires will come across the ceiling, dangle down. People can play around. They'll have themselves a good, what's that, nine foot, if not more, each to play in. So a lot of room to move around in. Um, it all kind of covered off. The ceiling here will have, hopefully, I'm hoping for RGB lights. So we kind of go off at an angle, RGB lights kind of shine straight in. Obviously they'll be white most of the time, but it'd be nice to kind of color theme the booths, the areas, depending on what's going on. So that'd be quite cool. So we'll do that as well. Uh, so before those, uh, TV screen up with them as well, so people can know what's going on. We'll also be having Xbox Connect cameras set up there as well. So people can do uh, mixed reality type stuff with live. Um, we're going to use that instead of green screens because I don't want full green booths. I think that's going to look a little bit naff, but I would like them to be kind of like a grey colour, sort of metallic metal. That's kind of the theme, metal and blue. That's kind of what we're going for here. Uh, look at quite look quite smart. We're going to go across that all across here, and then when there's space, we'll then put sort of a couch like sofa type things, more like bench things that you get kind of like in a dining room, but leather and soft that people can kind of sit here and watch people play, watch the monitors. Uh, we're going to let people kind of, you know, swap around with the headsets. Hopefully families and stuff will come um, and sort of get involved in that sort of thing as well. So there'll be kind of some sort of barrier system that runs from that pillar down to this pillar, down to that pillar, kind of separating them off, and you have to kind of go in to get to the areas. And then just in front of it here, here we'll have that egg thing. So if you've seen those egg VR pods with the movies in them, that's going to be here. And then in this window here, we're going to have that VR slide. So if you haven't seen the videos of those two now, I'll put them up on screen, just a little picture of them so you can sort of see what they're like. So that idea behind that being is we'll have a little bit of graphic in the window there, but not too much. But people will see other people on that slide right here, getting scared, screaming, all that sort of good stuff, advertising what's going on. Because although those machines aren't really kind of true VR, they are still VR. And the average person who's maybe not into VR like we are, is going to love them. He's going to want to see their family and friends in that slide, in those video pods. And that's what's going to drag them in. They have a little go of that. They may think, yeah, well, that was all right. Let's play something else. So they play something else and that sort of thing. So, you know, it, it sort of gets them going. Uh, as I say, seating is going to be important. So each of the booths has seating to kind of bring people back, sharing VR with each other, all that good stuff. So we should have a fair bit of sort of space in the centre here that's kind of free. I didn't want it kind of to make it too sort of claustrophobic. So this sort of front area here will be relatively free. We do have a little kids VR machine as well. It looks like a little tiger. Uh, we've got it on order as well as those other two Chinese machines. Uh, basically, the kids put it up to their face and then they look at things to kind of move around in VR 
Uh, it's quite cute, coin operated. We'll stick that somewhere around here as well. I'm sure we'll find space. Um, so overall, I'm super excited about this and I can't wait for it to get started. I'm super, super excited. So, oh yeah, in the windows, we'll have some vinyls there. Uh, I've said about the sign there, and that'll be completely blanked out with vinyl as well. So black on this side uh, and sort of graphics and stuff on the outside. And where you saw at the front of the building, you'd have uh, sort of a signage as well with the logo and stuff. So that's a quick overview of what's going on here. What's going on in my life? What's going on just in VR in general for me? So I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to get it started. I've always wanted my own shop. I wanted to have a retail shop. I don't know why. It's just always appealed to me. I think it would be good fun um, and quite rewarding as well. And this sort of cross with VR is almost the perfect combination. I get a store, I get a shop, I get a business. This is my business. I am the direct director and managing director. The book will stop with me, uh, but we have shareholders and that, and we need to, you know, make some money for them. But this should be a lot of fun. You know, I think we're looking to charge about £20 for an hour on the go on sort of the VR headsets or on the racers, um, but hopefully kind of with leaderboards and a little bit of a membership system um, and some other good stuff, you know, with all the students around here, uh, it should be a no-brainer and come across quite well. Um, we are sort of hoping to get you know, other people who are not into VR into VR as well. So the idea is to not exclude anybody, keep it as open as we possibly can for everybody because it's a you know vr should be in, you know inclusive if at the very least you bring your you know a grandparent brings their grandson and has a little go of vr and watches them with them and maybe the kid convinces the grandma to put the headset on as well and it's the start of something beautiful as she enjoys some vr but having the stalls that they can swivel around on watch a little bit of content maybe on an oculus go something that we've created um would be awesome um so if you kind of got any questions let me know in the comments down below I'd be interested to know if you're a vr developer or something um Maybe you've got an experience or something that you want to be tested in an arcade. You think it'd be quite good fun. I'd be interested to hear from you guys as well. What we're also going to do, and this is open to all you guys as well, if you want to support me on this, for example, the car races themselves, they're going to have um, what's called kick butters, kick butts, and they kind of vibrate to vibrate the chairs that you sit on. So they're not going to rock around, I think that made people too sick. Um, but we would like some wind. So you can get wind turbine type things that as you accelerate, they go faster. As you decelerate, they go slower. Um, and it'd be quite cool if the vibes were maybe wireless, but that's not in the budget just yet. So if you guys want to help me with that, want to help me sort of get some extra kit for the arcade, you can do. What I was thinking is on the wall, maybe over here, or maybe down by the racers, or one of the other walls or something, we'll have a spot probably like a meter, maybe two meters square, where if you guys want to donate, you guys want to support me in this venture that I'm doing, um, then you can do, and we'll make it like a word cloud of everybody's names. So if 100 people donated a dollar, and one person donated $2, their name would be bigger than the $1 people. So the more you donate, the bigger your name will be in that space that we put up. So that's what I'm kind of offering for anybody who wants to kind of help me with this. So I'm going to set up a GoFundMe. It'll be up and linked down below. It'll probably be gofundme.remarkers.com um, and that'll take you straight to it. Uh, any amount will help. Um, as I say, if we can raise ourselves £2,000, that will pretty much cover the cost of the wind and then part of the cost of the sort of Vive wireless um, for us to use. We might not use the wireless all the time, but it'd be good to have. We may have taken the headsets out other places as well, so not having wires would be useful. But if we could raise £2,000, that would be amazing. And you guys would be awesome for it. Obviously, if you guys want to put in more or less or whatever, you want to put in 100 grand, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> but being realistic, you know, if we just raise a few hundred pounds, it pays for maybe just at least putting out the sort of wind on the races. I think that would be a worthy upgrade. The vibes come second and whatever we get out, out after that. Maybe some more Chinese machines, maybe some other machines. Maybe we can get Cosmoses once they come out or anything else that Facebook are going to announce next week 
uh, we can include. So uh, it, I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to get involved. As I say, if you want to get involved as well, you want to support me, links in the details down below, but gofundme.romarcus.com. And yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. So you probably tell by just the way I'm talking how excited I am about this. This is a dream come true for me. Um, partly thanks to you guys, the success of my channel, 15,000 subs has been um, just mind blowing to me. You know, I started what a year and a half ago, and it's you know, 15,000 subs is crazy. But you guys have all been awesome. Uh, I can't thank you all enough. Obviously, once we open, all of you guys are invited to come down and check it out. If you're in the other part of the world, why not? You know, take a flight over, especially come see me. <laughs> but if you don't see me doing many videos over the next few weeks, you know, that this is the reason why. That's the reason why I haven't been super active recently. But I do have a load of things I still want to do, a lot of videos I still want to do. I still want to do YouTube. So once this is set up, I'm hoping to use these booths on quiet times or when we're shut and all that sort of stuff to still do video content on VR stuff. Still Oculus Go, still Oculus Quest. I've got a better setup. I've got more room for it now. We can get people in and we can play some multiplayer stuff. We'll have more headsets and stuff to use. Um, it should be interesting, an interesting evolution of this channel. So I'm going to do more sort of behind the scenes, more vloggy type stuff with the arcade. So if you want to kind of see behind the scenes on how this progresses, make sure you do follow and subscribe for that. But I think I've shattered enough. You've probably seen enough of what's going on here. Uh, as I say, I am so, so blooming excited. I can't wait to get started. So if you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.